Hello, Rail fans. Welcome to this episode of French Fried Trains. It's December 15th, 2019. We were out and about doing some stopped at the gas station, and as luck would have it, it was perfect timing to catch a train. A single ES44 ACH leads this manifest train through the Central Road Crossing. And an old chassis system boxcar. Awesome! A little bit of everything on this guy. And there goes the distributed power in ET44AH. Lots of covered hoppers and tank cars mixed in on this one. And that was the last train I caught that weekend. A week later, it was a little bit warmer on that weekend, so we went to the park when I heard a train coming. I thought I didn't have enough time to get to a better spot, so I just went down in the brush on the side of the park. But it ended up that this train was going very slow, and I had plenty of time. Three locomotives, a pair of ET44 AHs, followed by an AC44 CW, leading a fully loaded giant coal drag southbound. He's slowing down as he's coming into the siding here. These were all pretty much the same type of hopper. We're going to cut around to different parts of this train because this train took forever to slow down into this siding. Here I decided I didn't have a good enough view and decided to risk coming closer. I made sure to stay fully conscious of this first main track and make sure no other train was coming before I got close. It was worth it to get this long, sunlit shot of the whole train coming by as far as the eye can see. I panned the other way to check out that part of the train and make sure that there wasn't a northbound coming yet. Just a giant wall of loaded coal hoppers as far as the eye could see.
but we're gonna cut again because as beautiful as this shot is like I said this train took forever to go by you can hear the drawbar slack there as finally after 12 and a half minutes the end of this train was in sight And finally, the last car passes, thus showing just how long a heavy coal train like this takes to safely stop. He came to a complete stop after this. I took some still pictures and then headed back down into the park. It was another 10 minutes maybe even 15, before the northbound that coal train was waiting for finally got here. A northbound manifest led by an ES-44 ACH. And like I said, since it had been 10 to 15 minutes since the tail end of that coal train made it in the siding, he had full clearance for top track speed. This guy had lots of coil shield cars. For as big as this guy was, and as fast as he was going, I started to suspect he'd have a DPU, and I was not wrong. that DPU in ET44AH. This train just seems to keep coming and coming. And that was all the trains I got before Christmas. The day after Christmas, I happened to be at the gas station in the evening, and it was another case of right place, right time, as a northbound train was coming.
This was K183, northbound empty iron ore cars. And this guy was flying. The fastest train I've seen in a long time. I was hoping the parking lot lights of this gas station would light up the train enough to see, as it had in the past. But they just replaced that light in front of me, and it's so bright it's washing out the shot. So we're going to cut to the end here, because there's not much to see. And there he goes. I still can't believe how fast that guy was going. Saturday morning, December 28th, I went out rail fanning, and I couldn't even make it to my spot. When I got down there, the Beekler Road crossing was blocked by this stop train. Since they don't usually block this crossing, I was wondering if maybe they were going to cut a car off and put it in dup siding, trying to think of reasons why they would be stopped. But, five minutes later, it started moving southbound. I was wrong. It was only about ten cars before the end of this train went by. When I went over the rails, I saw there was a headlight way at the south end of the siding. I was in luck and another train was coming. So either they were doing a crew change at the south end of the siding and that's why this train was stopped, or it was just too long to fit on the main line waiting for that northbound. It worked for me though because I had about five minutes to play with and gave me time to get to my normal spot and get ahead of the train before it got up here. A single ES44AH is getting this auto rack train moving. And a cut of shiny new Union Pacific cars. And you can hear the rail starting to sing here as he gets up to track speed. An old grand trunk car. and a set of Norfolk Southern Automax link cars. And a second locomotive. I'm in a way to keep the train moving. Another ES44AH. This guy was fairly sizable for an autorec train.
And there's the Illuminati symbol. And that's all we have for this episode of French Fried Trains. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great New Year's.